My name is Massey White Knight. <laughs> My name is also Isis Rain. I'm a two-spirited entrepreneur who made millions in Canada's oil sands. And then I lost everything. Now, it's time to face my demons and reclaim my life. I am still queen of the oil patch. Whee! Alrighty, tidy. I'll take the necessities. It's like the hair, the wigs. Two pair of shoes. No. What about these, then? This is my man side. <laughs> Am I standing like a man? No, no. way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. <laughs> Where do you want this? Can we just throw it under the bus? Oh, my god. Let's go. Here we come, big city. Oh, my god, I'm going to faint. <laughs> Fort Mackay, au revoir, tally hoo, voulez vous? Just kidding. <laughs> Goodbye, Youth Center. Goodbye, Van Hall. Remember, that's where we started out. Yeah, where you interviewed <laughs> me for the job. Goodbye, oil refinery. Goodbye, Back Island. Goodbye, Casino. Goodbye, Showgirl. Have you been there? Yes, I've been there many times. I've got my I got first my, lap dance there. Well, I got my husband's his first lap dance on his 40th birthday. <laughs> I'm Shauna McKinnon. This is 100.5 Cruise FM. And joining me in the studio today, one of my favorite people in this town, Massey White Knife. I'm finding out now that you're going to be leaving the community of Fort McMurray. Yeah. In order for me to raise the awareness of some of the causes that I feel strongly about, my own mental health has to be the first and foremost. Unfortunately, the resources that I need are not available in Fort Mackay or Fort McMurray. So I'm moving to Edmonton to seek help. The one thing that people would want to know is what happened in your life? For me, I think it was after the fire. The trauma that I went through re-triggered a lot of emotions that happened in my past. I have severe trauma from childhood sexual abuse. The only way that I was dealing with them was to self-harm myself. So the addictions came back, which was alcohol, drugs, gambling. Also, I have severe bulimia. I have to make the choice. Are you going to move forward and get the help you need? Or are you still going to just continue to deteriorate? And that's just not an option for me. I do just want to say to Fort McMurray that I'm not leaving forever, but uh, I am leaving for a good reason, and I will be back. It's going to be a good adventure. I think I'm so excited too. for it. Yeah. I'm also scared, though. Like, I just want to make sure that I know what I'm doing and that I'm going to be OK. But again, I just have to keep telling myself that yeah. this is for the best. That's right. I need to focus on my mental health. And with that as well, also my physical health. Brad, how's it going? It's going pretty good. What are you up to? Uh, you know, living large, taking charge. <laughs> large for sure. Look at this. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God, you're still oh my God. I know, don't touch me. <laughs> You're going to have to come to Edmonton and yes. visit me. Yes, for uh, sure. For I'm going to sure. be looking at probably this whole, you know, 360 kind of mental, emotional, physical, right? Good. Got to take care of the physical because that kind of yeah. keeps you sane. You know what? I'm going to start uh, training boxing. So, Ooh. yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. You always touch me. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I really love about Brad is that he has been my friend for so long, and he's never asked anything of me except just to be an unconditional friend. And he's also a black belt in ninjutsu. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Brad's also a black belt in jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Brad has Brad's a black belt in something. <laughs> oh, 
Edmonton bound. Edmonton bound. Sounds like your next chapter is. You know what you know what that chapter is all about then. <laughs> really thought this through. Is that have a bottomless pit? <laughs> I have nothing bad to say about Fort Mackay. They've been so understanding and so accepting yeah. for me and my mother. Yeah. My mom will always stay there. She, she loves, loves it. it there yeah. Too, eh? yeah. Even I think it's it, because <clears throat> you're here. It's cl she's close to her boy. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to worry about my mother that now that I'm leaving, she's happy. I don't want to take her out of that. Why are you moving to Edmonton? I figure for me, I just need to. Make sure the bills are paid and focus on my mental health. What are you going to do with your companies? Well, they'll still be there. And I'm just going to take a year off and focus on myself. I need to, otherwise I'm not going to have companies. I'm not going forever, I'm just going for a year, you know? I can't stop you. No, and I don't want you to. I want you to, like, be happy for me that I'm actually going to do this. Because look at how many years I've been living here and not taking care of myself. I can't do that anymore. I'm like. You know, I'm 40 years old. Well, I'll never stop worrying about you, no matter what you do or where you go. You know that. Uh, this is the thing. I don't want you to worry about me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to be happy for me, because it'll be fun. Because when you come to Edmonton, you could come and stay with me, and we can go shopping and stuff like that. Yeah, couldn't look forward to those days. Yeah. So how do you think ISIS is going to be? Like, how do you yeah, think I was she wants that. to deal, like, you know? Yeah, because not only do I have to heal, I ISIS know. Rain has to heal. Exactly, there's two. Because there's two of us. You'll heal together. Yeah. Well, this is a ne the next chapter in my life. So I live on 118th Ave, which is known now as Alberta Ave. It's known for being, you know, a little bit more of a violent, high crime rate area. But I chose to live here because it's also a very indigenous populated. I want to be around my people. This is my morning ritual. I take my medication, I have my coffee, and then I check my messages. This is Prozac. This is for nightmares. And this is my uh, sleeping, because I have a severe insomnia. This is anti-abuse to not make me drink, because if I have two ounces of alcohol with this, I get deathly sick. It seems to be working. I mean, I'm definitely on the right path. I just have to keep focusing and staying on it and keep telling myself that this you'll get through this. I can't focus right now working, you know, Monday to Friday. And if that means that, you know, the company might have to shut down, I'm willing to let that happen. But I want to start a nonprofit to help Indigenous at-risk youth, men and women. I know nothing about starting a nonprofit, but I'm gonna do it. Hello. Hey, Massey. Welcome to the Carrot. Thank you. <laughs> we started 12 years ago. It's all volunteer run. And it's just truly a community gathering place, right? Can I have a triple triple? <laughs> So I started a nonprofit called the Indigenous Project. 
And so it's raising awareness for people that are struggling in their mental health and get them to live life on life's terms. So, and then throughout all that, we're putting on these events. Okay. Can you tell me a bit about, like, your guys' initiative? So, our initiative is called Won't You Be Our Eastwood Neighbor Block Parties. So, basically, we take over back alleys, and we go door knocking, inviting all the neighbors to come out in a couple weeks. We have a stage, we have hot dogs, a little garage sale. That's amazing. So, I wanted to do my own block party, but... If it's possible, I would love to team up with you guys. Oh, we'd love that. I could get probably some Indigenous recording artists to come. Myself, like as Isis yeah, Rain. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So I don't know if you've met Allie before. Hi, it's Allie. very nice to so meet Allie's you. my daughter, and she's the programmer oh, for our amazing. festival. Yeah, yeah, so she's the programmer oh for our festival <laughs> as well. So I, what I was doing with the Indigenous Project, I have 200 bags that I donated. These are like gym bags. Fantastic. So I'm donating them to the Indigenous, and I want to fill them up. I was thinking, like, you know, if we could get the food bank to help, I'm going to contact them and see if we can, like, put some uh, food in there. That would be great. Like, this is what this is all about, right? Is yeah. How do we nurture? How do we help each other? Well, this is amazing. I can't wait to be involved. Oh, Thank you so, great. so much. I'm so it glad. Is. This is oh. totally the way it's supposed to be, right? Thank you. I just feel like this was Creator aligning me with people that are like-minded. So I look forward to meeting with her in three weeks just to follow up to see where we're all at and to get uh, all the stuff together. Yeah, totally excited. <laughs> What's going on, man? Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's my home security. <laughs> see you, bud. It's been a while. Good to see you, yeah. He was like, what's this yesterday? Yeah. Come and check out yeah. my pad. Cool. Let's check it out. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it'd be. Yeah, especially when I live in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the stuff, man, I got on like Marketplace, like $100 coffee table. It's good. What are you playing? Football soon? Except on No, uh, oh, right yeah. No, I wear these every night so that um, my puffy eyes in the morning. Uh, is that cool? I always wanted these when I was a kid because my mom had them and then I found them at the dollar store. This is uh, Isis Rain's. Wow, is it ever? There's all kinds of neat things here and yeah, <laughs> it's not too bad. This is uh, the red room, I call it. This is uh, me and Isis Rain's room. Nice. Check out the... Oh, wow. These fit you pretty good. <laughs> it's called the self-defense bra. I still go out and perform as Isis Rain. Had a dream of spinning bam, pretending to sleep. As when I'm Isis Rain, I feel complete and I feel happy. <laughs> Lately, though, I started to look at myself and what would make Massey happy. Is it too red? No. <laughs> Never too much red. There's one side of me that wants to become a woman and get the surgery and live life as a woman, but then there's another side of me that wants to be a male and find that masculinity side. I'm a work in progress right now. Grab your ropes, start skipping, let's go. Matt, your toes max is the max. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Just focus on your hands right now. There we go. Beautiful. That's it, 20 seconds, let's go, let's push. A part of my health and my well-being would be to start exercising and taking boxing lessons. That part would then help my physical health. Well, don't come after me, Jesus. <laughs> go over there. The plan is for me to have a boxing match in 12 weeks and then people can sponsor me, and all that money that I raise can go towards the nonprofit. Six, ah! seven, <laughs> nine, ten. Oh, there we go, it. take a break. I'm done. You guys been only doing for 25 minutes. And it's a beginner's class. You should try advance. Oh. <laughs> Don't intimidate me. <laughs> I'm using that hip, I'm rotating that foot. Right there. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Go on, show me what you can do. Hands up! Hands up! Huh? Oh. That's it! Plank up! 
back in the bag. Mass, you're alive? I'm not fit at all. I hate it. Oh, I'm so scared that I'm going to get the shit kicked out of me. If I want to be a boxer, I have to get my cardio up. I'm going to try <laughs> get into shape. <laughs> I hope I don't have a wiggle when I'm running. Oh, I'm going to have a heart attack. Yeah, you're dying. Oh. Oh. My legs feel like rubber already. I gotta cut my weight to 185. And I'm 210 right now. I have like 10 weeks to get ready and I can't even run. It's, it's a lot, but I just gotta keep saying, don't give up. I think I probably lost about six ounces, maybe, give or take, five ounces. Is that five ounces? Is an ounce more than a pound? Ah! Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> I've toned myself down since last year. There's no more partying for this girl. I am in my sobriety, and we've both agreed, Massey and I, to focus on our mental health. I feel like I'm a voice for a lot of people that don't have a voice. I need to take on that responsibility and own that responsibility. Welcome, everyone, to this business panel directed towards you. I'm an international keynote speaker for Murdered and Missing Indigenous Peoples of Canada. So I'm just really proud that my voice is getting heard all over the world and that I get to be a voice for those that have none. So thank you. I do pageantry and I coach women and children because I like to empower them. I like to put a smile on their face. I like to find their inner beauty. Pageantry is not just a pretty face. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So the last panelist we have is now running the Indigenous Project, a nonprofit which raises awareness for mental health. Put your hands together for the Queen, Miss Isis Rain. Hi, my name's Brittany Spears. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. How did you get started in your business or within your career? Look, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I did it the wrong way starting off. I listened to a white guy who said, tell everybody that you're straight, tell everybody that you're married and you have a white picket fence, we'll give you $150,000, go and start your business, but we will mentor you. I did that and I almost went broke. I did up my own business plan, I fired everybody, and then I started to do it my way. And in three years, I became a multimillionaire and I lost it. <laughs> After the fire, I lost not only my relationship, I lost, I felt my identity, I lost myself. You guys all have so many years ahead of you. Don't waste them. An obstacle is a challenge to greater success. Just keep telling that to yourself. Just curious about the whole uh, networking thing. I've always dreamed of starting my own business. For the most part, I don't think I would start. You see, 
using networking and being the biggest part of this. I mean, I applaud you right now for just, you know, asking a question because that's the first step. Mm -hmm. You know, like, um, the biggest thing I, I would encourage you guys all to do is get out of your box and to just start asking questions. If you really believe that you want to get somewhere, do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Because all I see in front of me are beautiful, resilient, strong Indigenous, and I believe in you. You just have to believe in you. Thank you. I thought tonight was just absolutely amazing. Like, I'm really grateful that I came. I feel like a lot of the reason why I haven't done it yet is because I don't think it, like, I'm scared of failure. Like, I didn't think it was going to work. But just tonight kind of gave me that kick to do it. Don't give up. Just keep trying. Nice to meet you, Ice this rain. Nice to meet you, Ice The biggest therapy for me is to give back. That will keep me sane throughout this whole journey. I knew I should have wore heels tonight, damn it. <laughs> I was exactly where I was supposed to be amongst all of these youth to do exactly what my mission is to do, is to like give somebody some inspiration and some hope. And I'm just so honored to be amongst so many youth that I just can't wait to see what they do. I used to go like this, left. So L means left. Is that, that's left? Yes. It is, really? Really? Oh. So, but then I thought, what about this? L, left, go that way. Well, anyway, yeah. right. I mean, I, I'm not- This is not, a kindergarten I'm, lesson. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was trying to say, I'm not really that, like, you know.